So we're going to leave here for a little bit and then we're grabbing our other owl ambassador we're going to bring out and then we'll do our two owl ambassadors right now just for uh, station work and then we'll do our falcon next we'll free fly him to get some practice on free fly. So yeah we'll just have these two guys out. The next owl ambassador is coming out as a spectacled owl native to Central and South America. They're very famous for <laughs> um, but this is actually a big change. She used to not be able to get her on the glove. Um, for the first year she was here, we basically just did hands off. Um, and even Steve donated some time to come sit with her um, and basically just hang outside her Muse, M E W S. That's basically a special aviary where we keep raptors. It's a very built in their safety in mind. Um, but yeah, this is a big change from what she used to be with. Hey, I know. <laughs> This is one of those watch your background spots. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got lighter pockets, darker pockets. Uh, but if you put one of them, I feel like I know nothing nowadays. Um, so evolutionary wise, falcons are about 40 falcon species in the world. DNA is now placing them closely, more closely related to uh, parrots than other raptors. Wow. So if you look at him, he's very parrot-like. Now he, you know, scratched his uh, face there, right there. You know how he flies. Um, so they are thought to evolve from the parrot family, basically, to the uh, meat the eating parrot. Yeah, that oh, yeah. with that over the shoulder shot, you gotta get that. That's really gonna look great. And I'll walk this way and see if he'll keep an eye on me. The hand that feeds. She's about our fourth and fifth uh, Barbary or Red Nape Shawnee desert peregrine that's been donated to us. And it's always hard with these older senior birds. Sometimes we've had them for a month or two, or sometimes four or five years. So we're not quite sure. <laughs> oh, food. I drop everything, so <laughs> my head wasn't attached, it would probably already be on. Come here. Come here. He says, I don't know that walking stuff. Come here. Oh. Now do your lenses focus close enough? <laughs> You're bleeding. That's the wheel. What was it? Yes. Oh, I'm, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, my joke with the falter is good. Good job, we've been working on it.
This is also just positive reinforcement that he gets a big, big jackpot just hanging out in front of you guys. Nothing's really asked of him. You guys aren't scary. Um, just basically relaxing and just hanging out. Oh. Yep. Go around the pinky. Yep. Fascinating reference. Right? It's everywhere. Yep. And then elbow into your side. And they always go to the highest point. So you just keep your arm kind of out, kind of up like that. And that's a perfect point. Perfect. Um, yeah, and like I mentioned with Wednesday, you know, she's getting kind of pushed. She does a lot of glove work as an ambassador and free flying as well. So sometimes it's hard for her to transition back and forth. So that might be something where we need to figure out, you know, bring our other owl ambassador back from breeding. And then, you know, she just flies. The other one does the glove. So a lot of times you really want to find what they're good at. So can I give you a quick modeling tip? Sure. You're kind of leaning back. <laughs> <laughs> Give her all the tips you want. She's mine. I'll give you permission. Okay. Just <laughs> warm. She got five and a half pounds. Record is ten for a female, so she's she's a minute, you know, kind of middle ground female. Smaller than our dog was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, lighter, not definitely not smaller. She was a cutie pie, and so that was your hard L, hard one pie. <laughs> so you can put your elbow into your side. Yeah. And I like when I hold my neck. Yeah, yeah, when I hold my neck. Yeah, I'm going to go hold my neck. I'm glad we got in. Because we tried to sign up for the books. You're fine. You're not on the way at all. Are we going to put my team? And then when I went to the Miss Wally, everyone was like, I can't get in. It's so loud. I know. Yeah, you have to sign up for them. Yeah. She's not looking. Oh, yeah. friend that every time I see well, we'll them, take like, I'll send it to her. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Beth. I know. I don't know if you're seeing them through a lens, right? Yeah, I'm following it. You guys are. You take turns. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 it's so close. It's just great. Yeah. 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 It's like all. Our condoms is like half. Like older, like retired people, and then younger people coming in. Oh. So she's usually, and also what's happening now, is she's usually been kept in this aviary where Peabody is. So you can see her watching me, and like, wait, why am I not there? Why are you with Peabody? Okay, Bob, go look at it. Peabody. Yeah. Yeah. Looking over here, Peabody. But it's a great.